Today I'll be showing you how to solve simultaneous equations with two variables using two different methods, elimination and substitution. So first I'll go through the elimination method and then I'll show you the substitution method. So let's do the elimination method. Here we have 2x plus 3y equals 12 and 4x minus 3y equals 6. So how can we figure out what x and y are? Well, using the elimination method, essentially what you do is you add the equations together or you subtract one equation from the other in order to eliminate one of the variables so you can solve for the other one. So here we have 3y and negative 3y. So if you add these two equations together, the 3y and the negative 3y would cancel each other out. So 2x plus 4x equals 6x, 3y plus negative 3y would just be 0, so we can just leave it out. And 12 plus 6 is 18. So from adding the two equations together, we have 6x equals 18. We can divide both sides by 6, and that tells us that x equals 3. So now that we have a value for x, we can sub it into one of the equations to work out what y is. So let's use 2x plus 3y equals 12. If we sub x equals 3 into that, we get 2 times 3 plus 3y equals 12. And that means that 6 plus 3y equals 12. Now we can just take 6 from both sides of the equation to make it 3y equals 6. And if we divide both sides by 3, we get that y equals 2. So x equals 3 and y equals 2. You can still use the elimination method even if you don't have two terms that obviously eliminate each other, like the 3y and negative 3y from last time. You just have to manipulate the equations a bit using division or multiplication. So let's say here I wanted to eliminate the x and solve for y. Well, if I multiply the first equation by 3 and multiply the second equation by 2, we get that equation 1 equals 6x plus 9y equals 36. And equation 2 is going to turn into 6x minus 4y equals 10. So now the x terms are the same, so we can actually eliminate them. We just need to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So 6x minus 6x is just going to be 0, so we can leave it out. And 9y minus negative 4y is 13y. And 36 minus 10 is 26. So now we have 13y equals 26. We can divide both sides by 13. And we get that y equals 2. So now that we have y, Let's sub it into our first equation so we can work out what x is. So 2x plus 3 times 2 equals 12. That means that 2x plus 6 equals 12. So if we just subtract 6 from both sides, we get that 2x equals 6. And dividing both sides by 2, we get that x equals 3. So now we've figured out what both y and x are. All right, now let's move on to the substitution method. So to do the substitution method, the first thing you have to do is rewrite one of the equations so you have one of the variables in terms of the other variable. So for example, we could take the first equation and write x in terms of y. So x would be 10 minus y. And now that we have x in terms of y, we can sub that expression into the other equation in place of x. So we have an equation that only has y's. So if we substitute 10 minus y into the second equation, we get 2 times 10 minus y minus 3y equals 5. Then we can multiply out the 2 and turn it into 20 minus 2y minus 3y equals 5. Then if we collect like terms, we get 20 minus 5y equals 5. And then we can isolate y by adding 5y to both sides. 
and also subtracting 5. And that rearranges to get 15 equals 5y. So if we divide both sides by 5, we get that y equals 3. So now that we know what y is, we can substitute it into one of the equations to get the value of x. So if x plus y, which equals 3, is 10, then that's just going to mean that x is 7. So y equals 3 and x equals 7. Alright, let's try one more using substitution. So here we have x minus 2y equals 3 and 3x minus y equals 7. So I'm just going to use the first equation to write an expression for x in terms of y. So if x minus 2y equals 3, that means that x would just be 3 plus 2y. So now in the second equation, I can just write 3 plus 2y in place of x, so that we only have y's. So 3 times 3 plus 2y minus y equals 7. That means that 9 plus 6y minus y equals 7. Now I can collect like terms, so 9 plus 5y equals 7. And now I can isolate y by subtracting 9 from both sides, so that'll just mean that 5y equals negative 2. And then if we divide both sides by 5, we get that y equals negative 2 over 5. Now I can sub y into one of the equations, so I'll just sub it into the first equation. So x minus 2 times negative 2 over 5 equals 3. That means that x plus 4 over 5 equals 3. So x equals 3 minus 4 over 5. And that means that x just equals 11 over 5. So y equals negative 2 over 5, and x equals 11 over 5. And that's how you solve simultaneous equations using elimination and substitution. So thanks for watching.